This is a grudge match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from the Jersey Shore, Rocco Bellagio. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this match is about one thing and one thing, oh, one thing only, revenge. Last month, Rocco Bellagio burst back on the scene in Ohio Valley Wrestling and committed what is the equivalent of a heinous crime, Ron Head. Well, it's a basically a legal felony is what we're seeing here in the Davis Arena. Bellagio brought on by the psychedelic superstar Chris Silvio as a hired hitman. And his first hit was on this man's best friend. And his opponent, the party starter, Bud Dwight. They're not gonna wait for the battle sound in this one. This isn't gonna be pretty, it's not gonna be technical, this is gonna be a brawl. As Bud Dwight said, he wants to avenge his friend that was injured by Rocco Bellagio, party by the starters, hired hitman. Party starter's former best, fr his best friend and former tag team partner, Eddie Diamond, was knocked from the Raptors in Davis Arena by Rocco Bellagio. He's gonna give him the take the plunge right now, Gilbert. One week later, Party Starter returns, and Rocco and Silvio try and break his arm, try and put him back on the shelf for another nine months. He's coming this way, Gilbert. The man creeps me out. And Bud Dwight not intimidated. Well, Bud Dwight, ladies and gentlemen, I saw him in back. He promised that Rocco Bellagio would leave here with a broken arm himself. That Rocco Bellagio was going to leave in a, with a, in a, that Rocco Bellagio was going to leave it, needing a cast and having a hangover. Sent him face first into the unforgiving wooden desk here. This isn't one of those tables that gives away. This is a solid wood desk. And Rocco Bellagio, again, the man with them crazy eyes, wouldn't mind inflicting another illegal felony here tonight. Bellagio's been called a lot of things in his career here at OVW. The leg breaker, the problem solver, a hired hitman. He is fresh off the Jersey coast and has ties to the mafia. And Bud Dwight sent in a hot shot, stun gun-like maneuver into the ropes, and Rocco Bellagio loves it. He's mocking them, Dwight mocking the man for going throw first into the ropes. Hung out to dry over that second rope. And now it looks like he has a bullseye painted right on the throat, going after the trachea, the larynx. You gotta wonder if the party starter came in with all heart and no head, if he came in with the right battle strategy to face the leg breaker, Bellagio. You gotta wonder if anyone has any sort of mindset that comes into attack, to fight, to wrestle against Rocco Bellagio, who seems to be enjoying this. Well, Bellagio's a giant of a man, no doubt about it. So if I were to step in the ring with him, I would take out the legs, literally chop down the tree. But it seemed that the party starter wanted to match blow for blow and may have got a little blown up by Bellagio. But blocks the shot in the turnbuckle and sending Bellagio into the top turnbuckle and another one. Is he gonna give him a tour of the mountain here, Gilbert? Again. Maybe four times a charm, yes. Pillar to post. Literally as Headbutt right into the face and those eyes, those crazy eyes are getting glossy eyed, Gilbert. Crazy eyes getting knocked in the back of Rocco Bellagio's head, round head. <laughs> See what I did there? Good one, Gilbert, as Bud Dwight now. Perched on top. And a clothesline from the top. Is the party over for Rocco Bellagio? No, no, still energy left. Although he might be in a little bit of trouble here, Bud Dwight. Trying to pick him up and Bellagio. Look at the power, Gilbert, just catching Bud Dwight. Bud Dwight's every bit of 250 pounds, ladies and gentlemen, standing six feet tall, and Rocco Bellagio just threw him like a rag doll. Just threw him backwards in that overhead slam, and the fans, the fans are getting behind the party starter here. We know that Eddie Diamond is watching this, and we know that he's cheering on for Bud Dwight, but is it gonna do any good here tonight? Rocco Bellagio marking the fans now because he wants to give, wants to give him the plunge. Oh, look at the cockiness of the cover from the leg breaker. 
And Bellagio now just muscled Bud Dwight into the corner. Look at those crazy eyes, Gilbert. As he's signaling. Bellagio connects. With all nearly 300 into the pounds. Cover, no hook of the leg of the party starters out in two. Just barely able to get his shoulders up and Bud Dwight is in a lot of pain and Rocco Bellagio's enjoying inflicting pain. Is he gonna take the plunge now? Is he gonna take the plunge? Bellagio setting up. The party started, had it countered. Caught Bellagio off balance. But can he take advantage here? Irish rip reversed in the middle of the ring. Look at party the agility. Starter. I tell you what, the quickness and agility of the party starter for his size is quite impressive. Not to mention the balance and wherewithal to move out of the way as Bellagio sent himself in and couldn't get him and up again, that time. That low back, the damage done, so much damage done. The party starter, he's got him up this time. Bow away slam. Got him in that Samoan like drop, and Bellagio's in a world of hurt. Bud Dwight's calling upon the energy of these Davis Arena maniacs. Stinger splash. And Bellagio on wobbly legs. Drop kick, sending Bellagio to the floor. Bellagio all the way out on his heels now. And the party starter's going to take the party out here after him. Gilbert has got to be 20 all feet the way up. up. Oh, my God. He connects. All Buddy the way. Stutter not just trying to avenge what happened to him three weeks ago on OVW television. This is not just about the arm injury. Party Starter is fighting for his former tag team partner and best friend. Party Starter, can he get the win for Diamond? The leg is hooked, and Rocco, Rocco out in two and a half. And it looks like Rocco Bellagio is in a lot of trouble, but Bud Dwight looks like he's not able to put away Rocco Bellagio. Not able yet to avenge his best friend, Eddie Diamond. Can he do it again? Rocco with the counter, we got a train wreck. Like a head-on collision on I-65 in Louisville, Kentucky. And we're right back where we started. Both these men are down. Position. Both these men are laying flat on their back as the referee administering a standing, or rather a 10 count. Who's gonna be the first to get to their feet? Will either one of them be able to answer the count? Both of these men have been in an epic struggle. Both these men have inflicted so much damage onto the other. And they're both getting up to their feet. Rocco Bellagio just barely, same with Bud White, and now, all right, they're exchanging rights. And it's just a battle, it's just a, look at this, it's pugilism, Gilbert. It's a battle of will here. Who has the most heart? Who has the most drive? Who has the most, as they say, intestinal fortitude? And it's the party starter who's digging deep. But Rocco, who has the counter? And Rocco it's uses- It's not fancy, but it's effective. Uses power and momentum. Leg is hooked. Two and nine tenths, two and nine tenths. And Rocco is getting frustrated. He's got to wonder what's it got to take to put away Bud Dwight. And when Rocco Bellagio is getting frazzled, and now Bellagio looks like he's taking a page out of Randy Royal's book. Apparently, he didn't see how that turned out for the television champion. We know George the Animal Steel must be watching over the Saturday night special tonight, as those turnbuckles don't stand a chance. And that steel is exposed. Rocco wasted so much time paying attention to the turnbuckle. It allowed the opportunity now for the party starter into the cover. The referee's out of position. The referee went to get the top. Are What's you he kidding doing? me? Come on, ref. Open your eyes. Open your eyes, too. And Rocco's got his hand on the bottom rope. That was a mistake by the official there. A mistake by the official. A young rookie referee right here is getting frazzled. We saw earlier the top turnbuckle taken off in an earlier match, and that's the mistake a rookie referee is gonna make. Party starters should have had this match won. And Bellagio 
Barely escaping, getting pinned in. Oh no, the plunge! They took the plunge. Connects, and it's over. Your winner, Rocco Bellagio. Rocco gets the win here, ladies and gentlemen, but in my humble opinion, the assist has to go to the official here, who was out of place at the wrong time. But the question remains, who can stop Rocco Bellagio? Well, the hitman's got his win. Will his boss do the same? Can the team of Rocco with the psychedelic superstar go two for two tonight at the Saturday Night Special? Heavyweight title match still to come.